This video series is designed to walk you through using the ad hoc reporting tool in Infinite Campus. This is part one, what is ad hoc reporting and creating a new filter. So what is ad hoc reporting? As you may have encountered, Infinite Campus contains pre-built reports that you may use to access student data. The designers realized early on that these reports would not cover every need, so they included the ad hoc reporting tool. Ad hoc reporting allows you to create a custom report or filter, allowing you to pull exactly the student data you need at any given time. To begin, locate the ad hoc reporting tool in your index in Infinite Campus and expand it. To create a new filter, click on Filter Designer. This takes you to the Filter Designer window. On the left-hand side, you'll see your saved filter list. These are any filters that you've created in the past and saved. On the right-hand side, you'll see the Create New dialog. There are three types of uh, filters that you can create in Infinite Campus. The first is Query Wizard. That would be where you're essentially asking Infinite Campus some questions and it will return data to you that matches the criteria you set. The second is Selection Editor. Selection Editor will present, present you with a list of every student in the building and allow you to select individual students to add to a filter. And Pass Through SQL Query is the third option. That is using database uh, programming language to pull more complicated reports. That's outside the scope of this series. On the right hand side, you'll see data type. You can choose from student, census staff, or course section. We're going to be focusing on student data in this series. So select student and query wizard and create. The first step in creating your query is to give it a name. I'm just going to name mine student list. You can name it whatever you want. Make sure that it's descriptive so that you can find it later. If this is a report that you're going to be publishing to other people, you can include a short or a long description to describe exactly how the report works, I usually don't bother with that. The next step is field selection. We're going to be covering that in more detail in a later video. For right now, under demographics, we can select last name, first name, and middle name. We're also going to select grade, and we'll select active today. This will create a basic list of any student who is currently enrolled at Oldham County High School. As I said, we're going to be covering the field selection in much more detail in the next video, but for right now, this will create a basic list that you can use for ad hoc reporting.